Of course, that all depends on your point of view, you see, because Albert Einstein, he pointed out in 1905, that time is relative. Yeah, stay with us on this. It's so true, Al. And Ooh. if you are, are ever struggling to understand the theory of relativity, then we have got one scientist with crazy white hair and a moustache <laughs> to explain the theories of another. Yeah. Hmm. We're all familiar with the regular tick and tock of a clock as it measures out time. But what if time wasn't regular? Suppose it could go faster or slower. What sort of world would that be? <laughs> the idea that time can speed up and slow down came out of the most important science idea of the 20th century, the theory of relativity, invented by the great Albert Einstein. And I'm going to explain it using a tennis ball, a torch and a train. I'm throwing this ball at around 10 miles an hour. So the ball is travelling at around 10 miles an hour, right? Not so, says Einstein. Imagine there's somebody watching from outside the train. OK, here comes the train. I told the driver to go at 10 miles an hour. And I'm looking for some bloke playing catch. Here he is. Right. The ball went past me at 20 miles an hour, which which makes sense, really, because the speed of the ball was 10 miles an hour plus the speed of the train itself. So for me, here on the platform, the ball was moving at 20 miles an hour. But for me, on the train, the ball is travelling at 10 miles an hour, and that's relativity. The ball doesn't have just one speed, only a speed relative to where you measure it from. But now, things get really weird. Einstein was interested in the speed of light. His mathematical calculations led him to a startling conclusion. The speed of light is always the same, no matter where you measure it. Let me show you why this is weird. But this time, I've got a beam of light. Now, the speed of light measured on this train is about 186,000 miles a second. What happens, though, if I shine a light out of the window? We might think that it would be the same as with the tennis ball, the speed of light plus the speed of the train. But if you measure the speed of the light beam from the platform, it is exactly the same speed as the light beam on the train. No matter how fast the train goes, the speed of light is always constant. Cool. Cup of tea, please. So, light is constant and speed is relative. What about time? Well, Einstein proved that time, just like speed, was relative and could speed up and slow down depending on how fast you're travelling. Incredibly, this meant that a clock on a fast-moving train runs very slightly slower than the one left behind at the station. This is the National Physical Laboratory in Teddington. Their atomic clocks are some of the most accurate in the world. The best is accurate to one second in 150 million years. With clocks this accurate, Einstein's weird ideas about time can be tested. In 1971, Dr Joseph Afili from St Louis booked three seats on an aeroplane. One for him and two for Mr Clock. Mr Clock was an atomic clock. They also left an identical clock at home. Mr Clock flew twice around the world, first east like this and then went back all the way west when they landed, they compared the two clocks and the times were different. Now, it was only 0.0000027 seconds, but that exactly matched Einstein's predictions. Einstein's genius was to take a simple idea and to run with it. And it took him to some strange places, but he changed the way we think about time forever.